Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Friday. It is the 24th of July, 2020. Going to look at the featured ninth race on the spot, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. And join me tomorrow for my Vanderbilt Handicap Preview here from the spa, and also my King George Preview from Ascot. But let's get to the featured ninth race, which is the Quick Call Stakes Grade 3, purse $100,000 race for three-year-olds here. We have a field of eight horses entered. The six horses MTO. So seven will go to the Melon Turf course, the distance of ground of 1,100 meters, or the distance of ground here of five and a half furlongs on the Melon Turf course. 1,100 meters, five and a half furlongs, Melon Turf course, rails out 12 feet. So keep that in mind. And I show the diagram. Just gives me a second to look at that. My notes just bear with me. My top selection, I'm going to take a shot here with the four horse Old Chestnut. We'll go 4 3. 28 in the Super Factor, 4328 Super, top selection of four horse Old Chestnut. This three year old Colt by Spice Town, who for the longest time had the six and a half or six furlong track record here at Saratoga, and I believe at Belmont also. But, um, you know, he, he, he was a horse they couldn't quite keep healthy, but when he was healthy, wow, he, he was a great horse. Won the British Cup uh, sprint at, um, at Lone Star in 2004. But um, Mark Hassett trains when Junior Alvarado gets mounted. Most recently, they ran the horse in Sir Cat Sticks at Belmont. Six furlongs on the inner turf course, 19th of June. And he finished third by two lengths. He sat towards the backpack early on after not the best beginnings. He really closed up well for third. I didn't think it was a half bad race. Back to turf, second off the break. Hopefully he breaks well and gets a good trip. I think he'll win. I think that's the recipe for success. Two back in the Jimmy Wingfield at Aqueduct. Seven furlongs February the 8th. And he finished fourth by four lengths there. And he really didn't break that well. And he just wasn't handling the dirt. It wasn't the day to win for his dirt debut. And then before then, the Central Park at Aqueduct, six for a mile 16th on the inner turf course in early December. Um, you know, he finished seven by 14 and a half flanks there. Very wide and just hit the wall. But, um, you know, he's just not a rider. He's a sprinter. Two back in the Atlantic Beach at Aqueduct, six strongs on the outer turf course. Finished fifth by three and a quarter lengths there. And he didn't have the best of trips. Very wide, but he was mowing them down late. If he had a better trip, I don't think he would have won, but he probably would have got a, a little closer to the front end there uh, late. And then before then, the Indian Summer out of Keeneland going five and a half. He finished six by seven and a half lengths there. And he was very wide. Again, just couldn't quicken up to his full potential. But before they went to Keeneland, uh, Woodbine very nicely going five eights on their outer turf course. It's going to be inner turf course. At six to one, being closer here, let's take him. Along with three horse flapjack. Calumet Owens is when Tyler Gaffleon gets mounted. Blinkers on today. Most recently at Thistle going six furlongs in the lounge race at 20 cents to the dollar facing nobodies. He finally got a victory winning by four lengths. Stalking getting lead and he could have won by more. That was a very good easy race. Before then the Matt went routing. He just couldn't get into it. His route races have been very subpar but when he goes to a sprinting trip I think he you know he goes up a lot. His two turf and his turf and synthetic form haven't been half bad. At 12 to 1 training well. Give him a shot also. I think Jack and Noah is a very very vulnerable favorite and I think the graveyard of favorites will strike with this race so we're not going to use them if it bites us, bites us in the ass today it bites us but to recount my selection for the ninth from Saratoga it's the way three quick call let's take the four horse old chestnut we'll also give kudos to the three horse flapjack co-top selection we'll go four three two eight in the superfecta four three in the multi-race so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing get five good luck everybody